Well guys, we're off to see the wizard in Hannibal, Missouri. It is the Wizard of Oz Festival and we have tickets to go have a good time with Glenda. She's hosting a party, so we're going to see what that's all about and visit one of our favorite Missouri River towns. So let's get to it. Okay, so what's going on? So, I fixed this bed and I turned around and I noticed there was a puddle of water on the floor. And I thought it was just the cooler leaking and then I realized we didn't get any ice in the cooler. And there's water running out from underneath the fridge. Where the hot water heater is in. Is it warm water? I didn't feel it. All I did was put down a towel and come get you. Okay. It, is, it is like running. Okay. Like it's coming out of here. I don't know why. Okay. But it is, it is definitely Is it warm? Out. No, it's cool. Cool or cold? Cool. Oh, smart to get you. Oh, yeah. Mom, it looks like I'm that plywood is wet. I'm going to for spiders. Looks like that plywood is wet. Yep. Look at that. We've got a leak right there. Okay. So in case the audio is unusable from the other one because we had the AC on, um, Katie was in the camper getting stuff set up on the inside we just pulled in here to mark twain campground and she noticed water coming from here so this is right under our fridge which is where our hot water heater is now how do i know that because we didn't have hot water our first camping trip and we had to get in here and they had um put set these bypass valves when they winterized the the trailer and they didn't turn them back on when they dewinterized it so um, but we figured that out thanks to the internet and um, now we have a leak. It looks like it's leaking right right under here and it came down there okay and is leaking out underneath. So we'll get that dried up. So we haven't had any more leaking from this other than the occasional leaking about 30 to 40 minutes after we used some hot water. So and we had a lot of that water come in after we hooked up to the, the city water. So my theory is, is that there's some mechanism in here that's stopping water from going into that tank unless it needs to be filled. And when we do use hot water and the water has to go back in to fill up the tank, um, that's where we're getting the leaking here at the, um, here at the coupling between the, this little white piece, the valve here and the um, brass port so could just be a washer could be the f valve is faulty i don't really know i'm not a plumber um so we're gonna have to take a look at that and maybe call in the professionals when we get home but so far so good we're still gonna keep the water off when we're not at the camper just in case the leak gets worse that's also why it's very important to keep some kind of a tool kit in your RV at all times. Even if you're a part-time like us, even if you only go out a few trips a year, things are gonna go wrong at some point and having a little toolkit um, to even just diagnose a problem or stop a problem, not necessarily fixing it, but um, just stopping it from getting worse is, is important. So. The one we have we got off of Amazon, I don't think it was more than $20. So you've got pretty much everything you need there. Got your hammer, scissors, tape measure, um, Allen wrench, bits, pliers, screws, sugar driver. Um, 
and it packs up real nice. Just slides closed. And you can see that that's not, not very big. Does not take up a lot of room. And this is an Apollo Tools brand. So anyway, we keep this in the camper. Uh, well worth it. So what are we doing? We are exploring Hannibal downtown. I know, but what are we doing this very moment? We are looking for the calliope music, which I feel like is coming from over here. Okay, let's go look. Well, I do believe that's the riverboat making that delightful noise. What are you doing? So what is it that you want to do, wife? into the quilt shop and buy some fabric, but you have to come with me. Why? Because I left my wallet at home. I know. And I haven't set up Apple Pay on my watch because it's terrifying and I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so I need you to come with me. Mommy's in the mood for some Christmas, so. You are? I am, and I like this because it's not like, <laughs> I like this because it's not don't cheesy put it on your face. Christmas fabric. It's all hey, Mom, smell like it. there's a lot of different smell patterns it. and stuff. Yep, smells like a tree. Smell. Now go like this. Can you go like this? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. You know three chords now. So I take amazing photos. Yes. Because you can zoom in on an instant and you can see it in your head the way nobody else can. Okay. But with video, uh -huh. it requires longer duration of focus. <laughs> you just don't have. No, I don't. And that's okay. That's okay. Yes, yes we, it is. That, that's, that's why we make such a good pair, right? Yes. Oh, look at the garden. I know, I love the garden. Yes, we can. Go on in. So we're waiting outside our favorite diner. It does not open till 11. Oops. And as another couple with a young child waiting outside the diner said to us, everything's earlier when you have small kids. Lunch is at 10.30, dinner's at five, and bedtime is hopefully, <laughs> hopefully by six or seven. Yes. But um, well, we're at, yeah. yeah, we're at the, we're at the point with Malcolm where um, we're starting to push all that back. Where lunch, where lunch and dinner and bedtime are all getting a little bit later. So maybe we'll get back to a normal schedule. Oh, God willing, that would be great. Right. Because when people make dinner plans and they're like, "Oh, let's meet at seven," we're like, "So late? Right. We can't do that. <laughs> we have somebody that gets cranky by then." Right. So and we, we forget that normal people probably eat dinner around six or seven o'clock. Yep. But yeah. not us. No, it's five o'clock. Five o'clock dinner. So anyway, we're going to have lunch at our favorite diner and then we're going to go to that Wizard of Oz party. Yes, it's going to be fun. It will be fun. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Because, because Malcolm finished his lunch. And there is very little parking here. But we found a spot, we were very lucky. And there are lots of people here. This is interesting. I see one of the guards. Malcolm saw a witch. Lots of people are dressed up.
Let's go in Dorothy's Marketplace. Yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed by the whole Yeah. Okay, that was that was strange. Like and? that was awesome. Um, he said, "Oh my!" <laughs> he goes, "Oh my!" What do you got over here, buddy? Is that not crazy? He goes, "Oh my!" All right, buddy, wipe all of it off, okay? Did you like it? Yeah. You liked it a lot. All right, sorry to interrupt the video here, but we have to tell you about these guys and their product. Yes. So we met Chuck and Mary at the trade show. Is that what no, we No, well, they, they go to trade shows. Well, we met them at that Wizard of Oz festival right. where there was all these different vendors. And um, Chuck called us over and he said, hey, try this, try this hand scrub. Yeah, this mountain man <laughs> scrub. It is awesome. Like, it is the craziest thing I've ever felt in my life as far as... It's amazing. And yeah. I've tried a lot of different products. I don't usually plug products because I'm usually pretty disappointed with them. But this stuff is legit. Um, we've been using it since we got it. And um, yeah. I've been really happy with it. Mary created the recipe for it. And it took her quite a long time of perfecting it. And I think she's done a really good job. Oh yeah, I mean, I they, they say you can use it about every three or four days. Um, I actually haven't used it in about a week, but my hands are still so soft <laughs> and smooth. Soft. They are though. They really are. Um, yeah, so we're gonna include a link to their Facebook store in the- Description below. Description below. Yes. Thank you. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah. I think we could probably look for some really exciting things from them in the future. Yes, they're really cool. Um, they, I don't want to give away too much. Uh, mm -hmm. Chuck is a wrestling announcer, an, yeah. an amateur wrestling announcer, which is awesome. Yes. And it totally comes out in his personality when you meet him. They travel on the weekends to all these different trade shows, plying their wares or their one their scrub, but really that's all they need because it's amazing. It is. And um, they've got a really awesome travel situation. So yeah. I'll let you check them out. Very unique. Yes, it's amazing. And I hope that we get to see a lot of content from them coming up, yeah. um, pictures and maybe even some videos. Super excited. Yep. Yeah. All right, so. Back to back, the video. Back to Hannibal. <laughs> We made it to Glenda's party. We did. We did. We're here. Glenda's roaming around. I particularly love the lady with the tornado hat. She has an actual house in it. Packing up to head home. It has been a beautiful weekend here in Hannibal, Missouri. We stayed at the Mark Twain Cave Campground, and I'm not going to tell you our spot number because it's gorgeous and I want to keep it a secret. I'm just kidding. I think we're in spot C21, and we have these beautiful trees and this fantastic creek back here. Um, the weather has been under 77 degrees the entire time. 
We got to go to the Wizard of Oz festival yesterday and see some of uh, some actors dressed up as the characters and take pictures and have a good time there. Um, we had lunch at our favorite, favorite place in Hannibal, the Mark Twain Dinette. If you're ever in a 50 mile radius of Hannibal, I highly recommend stopping in. It's on 3rd Street. The Steampunk Burger is my favorite. Um, we actually made a day trip and drove up from St. Louis for our anniversary just to eat at the diner. <laughs> So um, yeah, it's been a really great trip. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give us a thumbs up, uh, a little like, maybe a comment. Uh, do you come to Hannibal? Have you ever been to Hannibal? Are you gonna go to Hannibal? Let us know in the comment section. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. We put out videos every week. Uh, sometimes we do live videos. That was something new that we tried this weekend. It was a little bit of a fail, but we'll get better at it. So um, yeah, until next time.